Jan Steen, Epiphany. This painting is called Epiphany. The Dutch painter Jan Steen painted it approximately 350 years ago. This period of time is called the Golden Age of Dutch art. There were many famous painters in Holland at that time, just like the painter Jan Steen. He came from the town of Leiden in South Holland. But Jan Steen did not only work as a painter, he was also a master brewer and ran a tavern. Perhaps that is why he liked to paint pictures of happy people having fun. This is an example. The painting shows us how people lived and had fun in those days. We see a group of people sitting in a kitchen. There is a lot of drinking and laughing at the table. The maid on the far left of the painting is drawing fresh beer. In the background, people are playing music. The party has been going on for a long time. There are already a lot of crumbs on the table. The people have eaten almost everything up. There had been a cake on the table at the beginning of the party. The red cake tin is now empty. People in Luxembourg also celebrate Epiphany, Trai Königstag, on January 6th. This is also the name of the painting. The cake eaten was therefore a three kings cake, the Galette des Rois. It was a tradition in the past to hide a bean in the galette. Today, it is usually a small plastic figure. The person who finds the bean when eating the cake is king for the day. There is a king in this painting too. You can recognize him by his paper crown. He has placed it on his hat. The man to his left and right are also wearing self-made hats. The man on the right is wearing a basket turned upside down on his head. The man on the left is dressed like a Chinese man. In those days, people used to wear fancy dress to celebrate Epiphany. They also drank a lot of beer and wine. All the people in the painting are a bit drunk. They are cheering each other on. They are shouting, drink, king. The woman in the very front of the picture especially seems to be tired and drunk already. There is a child standing to her left. It is bringing her a waffle on a plate. The woman is not paying any attention to the child. A man laughing sits apart from the others on the right. Jan Steen painted himself into the scene. He obviously wanted to join the party. The party is taking place in a big kitchen. It is a house that belongs to rich people. In those days, kitchen looked different from today. They were not only places where people cooked, but also where they gathered for social events. In those days, only very rich people had such kitchens. Paintings and expensive plates decorate the wall. The fireplace is also decorated with precious figures made of stone. In the corner on the left, a parrot sits in a birdcage. In those days, parrots were very rare and very expensive. The kitchen is painted onto a flat canvas, but it looks like a real room. How did the painter Jan Steen do this? Jan Steen was good at painting perspective. That means he produced a three-dimensional effect in the painting. You can see this, for example, in the floor tiles and ceiling beams. The lines of the tiles and beams run diagonally towards the back. The shelf with the plates on the wall on the left is also slanting. All the lines meet at a point in the middle. In art, this is called a central perspective. The point in the middle is called the vanishing point. On the right, at the back of the painting, a door leads outside. There, you can see lovers secretly kissing. Jan Steen painted the couple much smaller than the other people in the kitchen. That is why they appear to be much further back. Jan Steen understood the technique of perspective well. That is why his paintings appear to be so real. As the viewer, you think that you are standing in the middle of the room. 